I'm Joshua Overholt, and this is the Viking Corporation's double interlock pre-action system that uses electric, new electric as its release. This is the Model F deluge valve, and this is the Easy Riser check valve. Easy Riser check valve is used to maintain air pressure in the system piping because this particular system uses air pressure as a supervisory function and as an operational function. What I'd like to show you is how to do a trip test on the uh, double interlock pre-action valve. Uh, again, it's electric and new electric, so we're going to use uh, detection and we're going to have to uh, allow air pressure to escape from the system to create a second signal required by the VFR 400, which would then in turn open the uh, normally closed solenoid. To make this happen, we're going to use our magnet here. We're going to use the magnet test on the detector. Now this uh, particular detection equipment is just a smoke detector. It could be a heat detector or uh, something else um, along those lines. But we have our first signal into the VFR 400 uh, at this point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to release air pressure from the system. We're going to use the system trip test connection. And uh, when I open that trip test connection, we'll first get a low air supervisory from the PS40, followed by the uh, low air alarm. Once we have the low air alarm, the solenoid will open. It'll release the prime water from the chamber and uh, the system will be fully tripped. With the system activated, we'll shut down the system control valve as our first step. We do that first to stop water from entering uh, the system piping. We can silence the VFR 400 and we'll open our system main drain and we'll open our flow test connection. With the flow test connection and the system main drain open, we'll then come over and open our outlet chamber drain and then we'll secure the air uh, supply to the riser itself. We'll give the riser time to drain and then we'll go ahead and uh, reestablish the, the riser. So the restore process for the double interlock electric, new electric, uh, pre-action system is to build up our air pressure in the system piping uh, first. We're going to get that air pressure into the system piping and once we get that air pressure into the system piping we'll go ahead and reset our VFR 400 which will clear out that signal. So we're going to close our trip test connection and with our trip test connection closed on that side we'll go ahead and close the system main drain and we'll partially close the flow test connection. That way we're prepared when we open up the water supply valve. So with uh, trip test connection in the closed position and our main drain in the closed position, we'll go ahead and put our air pressure back on and we'll start to get our air pressure um, build up on our gauge. We're looking for about 30 psi of air uh, and again in the Viking systems we're using 30 psi because that air pressure not only does a supervisory function but it also has a, uh, an operational function as well. While we're waiting for that to build up, we'll go ahead and close our outlet chamber drain. So that's in the closed position. And with our air pressure approaching our 30 PSI, we'll go ahead and hit the re reset button. Now when we hit the reset button over here, we have our prime water gauge over here. And because our prime water valve is still in the open position, as soon as the panel goes through its reset procedure, we'll have uh, prime water pressure build up on our gauge itself. Now once the prime water pressure has built up on the gauge, that means it's closing the valve. Uh, and then the valve is in the closed position. And with the valve in the closed position, we'll go ahead and open our system control valve, which will allow water to uh, build back up into the riser itself, but it'll be stopped right here at the deluge valve. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a couple of turns and get water flowing into the system riser. And then we're gonna take that partially closed flow test connection and close that the rest of the way. Now with that fully closed, we're going to go ahead and open our system control valve. And now our system control valve is in the fully open position. We'll reset our VFR 400 and now all of our signals should be cleared out of the riser and the riser is fully restored. So with the double interlock electric new electric pre-action system that uses the Model F deluge valve and the Easy Riser check valve, uh, sometimes we, we get a piece of debris that may be uh, stuck through the flow test or through the partial flow test. Um, but we may find a scenario where we have air pressure 
Um, and again, the easy riser check valve here on the top side is uh, the whole purpose of it is to keep that air pressure in the system piping. So if I have a piece of debris on the, on the seat of the check valve and I'm letting air pressure um, out, it's going to come in and it's going to build up in the outlet chamber of the deluge valve and it's going to communicate to the piping here on the right hand side. Now this piping on the right hand side has a ball drip that's attached to it and that ball drip has a, essentially a keyway that continually allows um, pressure to pass through it. So if I have air pressure passing through the check valve into the outlet chamber and I have that air pressure passing through the, the ball drip on the right hand side, that's, uh, that's uh, indicative of a piece of debris under the check valve uh, seat here. Now, the opposite of that would be having water uh, trickle out of that uh, ball drip on the right hand side. And that would tell me that maybe the valve isn't, isn't fully seated closed. So a small piece of debris under the valve where it meets up with the actual seat to hold the water back or the water supply back, um, that piece of debris would allow water pressure to come up and allow water pressure to come through the ball drip. So understanding how the system works and how it's laid out and then uh, taking a look at the outlet chamber uh, ball drip there, uh, if I have water, it's, it's a matter of uh, perhaps flushing a piece of debris out of this. And uh, if it's air pressure, it might be a matter of flushing a piece of debris out of this. Now, if the problem is a little bit deeper than that, then we have uh, rubber replacements um, for both the Easy Riser uh, check valve as well as the Model F uh, deluge valve. But again, just knowing uh, what's going on and how the system is laid out can really uh, help steer you in the right direction as far as a potential repair.